welcome you to round two of the Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge for 2013 from the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas. In fact, good luck. And the green flag is in the air in the field of 61 cars is loose in Austin. Look at Aschenbach from the outside of the front row, trying to take advantage of our pulse to Jade Buford down into turn one. Tricky corner, Doss. It is indeed. You can get it wrong there. These guys on the inside got to slow a lot more than the guys on the out, and they got to give room for one another. More than down into turn one, it's up into turn one. 130 feet of vertical elevation change on this track, 100 of it right there in turn one. Well, Edwards there has had a good start there in the Stevenson Camaro up to third. Rumbum currently runs fourth. Here comes the ST class with their own separate start. Chad McCombie on the front row alongside Corey Fergus has to run up to turn one, but big hill to climb, like you just said, Bob. Remember, you can break really late here, particularly from the initial slower start, and you'll get here on a flying lap. So it's almost like you don't need to tap the brakes even there for turn one. So that's an adjustment. A little largey bargey in the middle, Calvin. A couple cars making contact. Everybody threw clean, however. Okay. Oh, he's going to hit him big time right here. Oh, this is what we talk about, these wide open entries. It's so inviting there, and someone takes that late turn in. They're just sitting there, and Rich Goller now he's very aggressive on the initial start and just got in way deep there. Green, 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 green. Now with that, we go green once again, and Shelby Blackstock, who started his Mustang 10th, he did not pit. He is now on the lead. Same story for Brent Sandberg behind him. No pit stop, they run one, two. A great restart for Shelby. There's new regulations in place for this year. As soon as that safety car peels off, the leader can take off Dorsey, and he did it. Problem here on Thursday, came back, blew up another engine. So this team very confused, very frustrated because they don't know what the problem is. So they're very worried that that car might not make it to Spin the end. Spin on track. Thanks, Chris. The 55 goes around, coming down that very fast downhill right-hander. Bill Oberlin in a BMW leads the Grand Sport class. Tom Long in his Mazda MX-5 leads the street tuner. It's not a battle for position. Oberlin has a healthy lead at this point in the game. That's a, a lap come to the ST class battle. These guys do this like this all year. They'll never separate much more than you're looking at right now. Tom Long leading presently over Jason Saney. These little Mazdas, Mazdas one, two, three. That Five car best. really putting the pressure on Tom Long. This is what it's all about. We talk about this racetrack. You can run side by side through here and they're learning where you can do it. Awesome stuff. The race leader is in Bill Oberlin in the Turner Motorsports BMW N3. Here's our leader, Billy Johnson. And this is a battle for the lead. Spencer Pompelli and Billy Johnson pitted 11 laps ago. They're on the same fuel strategy. What do they do now? Do you try and save fuel? Wait for that caution, or do you just get the hammer down, create as big a cushion as you can so you can't afford to hit pit lane and have a gap over the rest of the field? So our third full course caution and with less one. than 49 minutes to go. Right now we are going back to green and Billy Johnson takes off in his bright red number 61 Mustang Boss 302. Yeah, there was a lap car there, the 05 that the other front runners had to clear first. So that really gave Billy Johnson the breathing room he needed. Now he's going to get the hammer down. With this caution, we believe all of these front running GS cars are good on fuel. Terry Borcheller in that 23 BMW who's won more than a half dozen national championships in sports cars. Goes down the inside, oh, three gets bumped sideways. Jason Saney, he's the local driver running for C.J. Wilson. Gets a tap there, it looked like. Yeah, I think he did, yeah. Terry Borschella, he's won a DP championship. He's won two Rolex 24s. Here we look at it. Oh, and he went to the outside of Terry, so you can't really lay all of the blame there. Saying he was really deep there on the brakes, looking for an outside move. It's a battle for second place in GS right now. Here we see Spencer Pompelli has gotten around Billy Johnson up ahead. There you can see on the current leader, Billy Orton. We talked about the pace that he's had. Fresher tires, he's taking it to the front. Yeah, he's running away with it right now. Spencer Pompelli did a good job getting around Billy Johnson as well. Both those cars look in good shape. I don't know if there's anybody going to have anything for Oberlin right now, though. Oh, the 61, 61 car. Got, got a problem. Running. Billy Johnson. <laughs> Number 96 Turner BMW of Bill Oberlin. And the second place car, the Porsche, Spencer Pompelli, right there in your picture. Look at it carry that right front wheel to that corner. It's <laughs> cool. Billy Oberlin should be in good shape here. He's got 10 more laps of fuel on board than Spencer Pompelli, so that shouldn't be an issue for him. Spencer's pushing hard, so I have to think that TC has told him, you're okay on fuel, go chase that leader down. If you get the first one wrong, the rest oh, of the laps... Oh, look at Maxwell up. all the way down on the inside. Yeah, yep. God, it's so tempting. It's wide open there. We've talked about it, Dorsey. 
Maxwell try to take a couple of spots and watch this. Look all the way to the left. There he yeah. is. And, and we knew it was going to happen, Calvin. Oh, look at this. Oblin defense. Papelli even there. deeper. That is awesome. These He'll are cut in. He'll try to get down the inside. Won't work. These guys have raced each other for decades. He is driving as hard as he can out there. He's putting, trying to get everything he can out of that BMW. So we're going to see these guys fight tooth and nail for this next six minutes and 35 seconds. Oh, they fall. Look at that. They come. They've got to keep it clean. But I tell you what, this is an impressive performance by Spencer Pompelli because he got 10 more laps on those tires. So the fact that he's got enough grip to force the issue on Orbelin is something else. Look at this. We'll lose ST cars. See Billy Orbelin coming up to the right side of them. He clears them. Can Pompelli do the same? No, he cannot. No, he can. He's got a problem now as they go down the hill. There's your move. There's your winning move right there. Now he's through. Now he's got some work to do. Can he make it happen over the next three miles of this racetrack? Here's your ST. It's not over with. That's and it's right. Macalev. Yeah. On his grand M debut, he takes the lead from Borscheller on the final lap. I wonder if Terry didn't even know he was back there more than likely. And he will take the number 96 Turner Motorsport BMW M3 to victory in GS in Austin. What a bounce back for Turner Motorsports. He's got top speed. He's coming around the outside. It's going to be a breaking war down into turn 12. Here we go. Can McAleer return the favor on Terry Borshell? He's going to come to the inside right now. Oh, it's not enough. I mean, he's right there. He's got to bump him and loosen him up. Otherwise, he's not going to get it done. Borshell, a defense, tucks it to the inside. Long's there. Can he take advantage of these guys battling? Oh, he's got oh, good run. Run. traction down. Good run. McAleer back through. But we're not done yet. Now, don't leave that inside. Oh, Long gets oh, long. long. That's going to seal the deal for us. That takes Terry out of that position for sure. And on to the checkered flag. Stephen McAleer in only his second Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge race will go to victory lane for Mazda. Oh,